What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a flashback to 2015 when I just started trading in Forex trading because from 2015 to 2022, a lot of things have changed in Forex trading. And I wouldn't be where I am today if I wasn't very flexible or very, very adaptive to the changes. That is why I'm bringing to you guys today the evolution of Forex trading and how you can better position yourself to the changes in the Forex industry. Because this is the highest industry where you need to be informed because if you are not informed, you'll be totally deformed. So it is high time you know the changes that might be coming or the evolution of Forex trading to better know what maybe if something is working today, you can better position yourself so that even if it doesn't work tomorrow, you'll be able to better know that, okay, I already know this is going to happen. This is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to tweak this strategy. This is how I'm going to be flexible to be able to succeed in the Forex industry. So before we get into the video, the only thing I want you to do is to smash the like button on the video. Let's get the video to at least 1000 likes so that I'll know you guys like topics like this. So good. Let's start on the first slide. You can see j just from what I'm saying, I also have the same thumbnail here, the evolution of Forex trading. Perfect. Let's go to the next point. You can see when I just started in Forex, in Forex trading, uh, when I just started in 2015, you guys already know my story, right? Because I started in Forex trading and you know, uh, with what I call aggressive marketing, there was a time I heard about Forex trading and I was just searching on Google. Uh, and when I just searched what is Forex trading, the first thing that came up was a binary option broker. All right, I don't remember IQ option. I can, I'm going to mention the name. All right, IQ option. IQ option came up and that was a binary option broker. So I immediately just signed up with, uh, with IQ option thinking I was signing up with a Forex broker. I started trading with banner, with IQ options for almost about two months. I was almost like a month. I was demo trading, trying their demo account. Then after immediately after that, I, I ran to my cyber cafe because I, I, I had cyber cafes by then. So I ran to my cyber cafe, took some money from my cyber cafe, put into uh, IQ option. I think the first account was $10. I blew that account. Ran again, took uh, $100, put into that account. I blew that $100 and it just, it just started going from there. And then after that, I came in, I came in contact with the Matinga system. If you haven't watched the video I made about the Matinga system, then you have to watch that video because that is a trap in Forex trading and every Forex trader will come across that trap at a point in time. So click the link above to be able to watch the Matinga system if you haven't watched that video. So I came in, I came in contact with the Matinga system and that was the highest thing that just crumbled me. All right, the Matinga system caused me to blow almost about four different accounts blew my house rain my life savings and everything after that i didn't give up in forex trading. i keep on researching and there was a time i remember i joined a lot of whatsapp groups and there was a time uh there was a guy i think by that time i was still in cameroon and one guy from south africa even from south africa where i am now that guy gave a signal and he said buy euro usd take profit 1.22 this stop loss one point this i immediately ran to my uh, to my IQ option broker. I was looking for where to put take profit. I couldn't see. I was looking for where to put stop loss. I couldn't see. And then I went back again to that WhatsApp group. I was like, guys, you gave this signal. I can't see where to put a stop loss. I can't see where to take it, put a take profit. That guy, maybe he, he has one gone through that. He just immediately answered like, okay, what broker are you using? I said, I'm using IQ option. Those people, they, they laughed at me. They said, no, you guy, you are trading binary options instead of Forex trading. You need to be able to change immediately because that is binary options you are trading. And only one out of 1,000 people ever make any money in binary option. Or zero people even. Even if you make money at the end of the day, you still, you still blow that money. So that was when I discovered that I have been trading the whole time I have been blowing my life savings, blowing my money on binary options, thinking I was trading Forex trading. At that point in time, that was going to 2016, I started now from level zero in Forex trading. I decided to look for, to be able to get the grounds, to be able to get myself grounded in Forex trading. And the rest is history. Today we are one of the best Forex traders in the industry. Because of that, I've gone through the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to Forex trading and when it comes to the Forex industry. And I'm gonna be sharing you some of the tips on this video. So now let's talk about 
from I'm talking about the evolution, right? Let's talk about the evolution from binary, uh, from binary options to forex trading. That is just a story I've told you guys. Me moving from binary options to forex trading, and that was a, that was my starting curve. That is why you can see here. Uh, just from this diagram, this guy who is a forex trader say, I'm alright. Then you can see this other lady too, who is a binary options trader. Even though she's saying I'm alright, you can see from the face she is not alright. Alright, this guy say I'm alright, he's fine. If, if a forex trader is telling you he is alright, it means he's actually alright. Maybe he has already, he has hit, he has gone through, he's had a series of trades of maybe 1 is to 5, 1 is to 10. In binary options, there's no risk to reward, right? In binary options, there is nothing like risk to reward. If you are risking $1, there is no way you can even get more than $1 on a trade. If you are risking $100, the maximum you can get is $80, not even up to $100 you risk. So you see, the system automatically is already designed for you to lose in binary options. If you are risking $1, there is no way you will ever gain more than $1. But in forex trading, you can risk $1 and, and gain $100. You can risk $10 and gain $500. That is what the call risk to reward in forex trading and leverage also in forex trading. So that is why I was so, so happy. And the moment I discover that, okay, I was trading binary option instead of forex trading and diverted into forex trading, that was the best turning point in my life. That is what I'm saying. This, this guy, forex trader, say, I'm all right. You can see from every indication that this person is all right. This person is okay. But this other lady say, I'm all right. It's a binary option trader. You can see she is even still sad because maybe he be, she believes that the money that she has will make her all right but at the same time when she thinks about the next trade she's going to take or the strategies there is nothing there is no ground there's no there's no there's no longevity in what she's doing so that was the first shift all right the first shift or the first evolution of forex, of forex trading which i witnessed all right moving from forex trading or moving from binary options to forex trading the next evolution now that i also witnessed was moving from market makers that are called thieves those are thieves all right those are thieves the next evolution that i also witnessed was moving from market makers to ecn forex brokers all right market moving from thieves the people are called thieves to the people i call my friends when it comes to the forest brokerage industry moving from people who want me to lose my who wanted me to blow my accounts to the people who wanted me to make money all right let me explain what i mean this was a second shift in my trading career. When I just started in my trading career, I was trading by that time almost 95% or 99 of all brokers were what we call market makers brokers. Or they were dealing decks. Brokers we call dealing decks. So I'm going to do a video. I think I'll leave the video, uh, the link of that video above or maybe below of this there's an in-depth video I've already made on different types of forex brokers. And when I just started from 2015 to almost about 2019, the only system, the only 99% of all brokers were market makers. They had a deal index. Those are brokers that want you to lose your money. Those are brokers that want you to blow your money because anytime you blow your account, it goes to them as their over the counter gains. It goes to them as their OTC gains, all right? So I have, luckily enough, by that time, I keep researching. By that time, in my institution where I was learning how to trade, my mentor, they keep telling me, okay, just be patient. There's a system that is coming up. Very soon, the ECN system of Forex training is going to be introduced, and that is going to be a revolutionary, all right? And I was lucky, not, not too far from that, but I think from 2019, going to 2021 to 2022, the ECN system of Forex training was very new. It was already there since from 2012, but it wasn't too effective. But from 2019, the ECN system, because I don't, any broker that is having a deal index, you need to run from that broker. Deal index means anytime you place your trade, if you, if you place a buy, they will automatically trade against you. So they have a deal index that is trading against their clients. If you press a sell, they will automatically place a buy. Because anytime you have a winner, they are, they are actually removing their money, the money from their pocket to pay you. And anytime you lose, it goes directly to them, to their bank accounts as they are over the counter gains. So do you know that? Can, do you see that kind of? Do you think that kind of broker will ever allow you to, to win? There is no way. 
that's where you see manipulation they will shift they will, you will see what they call slippage they will come up with that is the highest level where you that's where i call them thieves all right that is where you have a dealing decks but now when it comes to ecn it stands for electronic communication network in the broker that is ecn or stp stp stands for what straight through processing so in the broker that is ecn or, or stp when you place your trade they don't they, they, they don't have any impact on your trade the only thing they are there to do is they act as an intermediary all right they act as an intermediary to take your trade and send directly to the interbanking system that is all they take your trade anytime you press buy they send your trade directly to the liquidity providers directly to the hedge funds to the big banks to the to the interbanking system and at that point at that point in time that kind of broker the only way they make their money is through commissions all right they only make their money through commissions and they want you to keep trading they want you to open big big bigger lot sizes because they, because the more bigger lot sizes you open the more commission you, you're going to pay them and the more money you make the more you're going to keep trading and the more you're going to keep paying them so that is a win-win situation for this kind of broker that is why i call them my friends in a broker there is an ecn broker i call that broker my friend because that broker wants me to make money that broker wants me to keep trading but for something like market makers like market makers or brokers that have deal index they want you to blow that money because immediately you blow that money it goes directly to their pocket it goes directly to their to their pockets as their otc gains but ecn brokers they don't care about ec uh, they are not too greedy they don't care about over the counter gains you only pay them their commissions you pay them in terms of their swipes and that is all you see, so that is another evolution in forex trading that I was fortunate enough to witness. I'm going to do a separate video showing you guys in depth how the forex brokerage industry works. How you can better position yourself not to be scammed. How you can better position yourself to know who to trade with. Because you can know how to trade, you can know all these strategies. But the choice of your broker is going to be able to determine if you'll be on the top 1% of us that end up making money in forex trading. So this was another big evolution that I witnessed in forex trading that has been a game changer to you today. Because I can't remember the last time I ever traded with a market maker broker or oh, there is never going to be a day i will advise any of my students in golov university to trade with a market maker broker because they already know very well that there are people out there that already know their secret there are people out there that are going to expose them and if you're not informed you'll be totally deformed perfect now let's talk about the way forward so what is the way forward after knowing about this evolution, the evolutions that I've been able to witness in my own maybe few seven years, I call it few seven years because there are people who have been trading for 20 years. So my few seven years of forex trading, I've been able to witness those evolutions. So what is the way forward? The way forward, if you are not informed, you'll be totally deformed. You have to be informed. You have to be informed on what is happening in the forex industry, on where the money is drifting, on where the liquidity is going. You need to be informed because if you're not informed, you'll be totally deformed. You need to be very, very flexible. You need to be very, very flexible. You need to know that even though, even if you have the Holy Grail strategy now, there is no guarantee that same strategy is going to be working in 2023. There is no guarantee that same strategy is even going to be working by the end of this year. So you need to have that degree of skepticism and give yourself flexibility to easily make tweaks on your trading system when you find that that system is not more working. Because in Forex trading, something that is working today, there is no guarantee that same thing is going to be working tomorrow. Be curious. Be curious. I like this point because it is curiosity that made me to be able to know that, okay, I was trading uh, binary options instead of forex trading. It is curiosity that made me to be able to discover my path in forex trading that has made me a millionaire, that has made me millions, that has helped me to be able to impact a lot of lives, to impact a lot of people. So curiosity is a very, very good factor even when it comes to general business. So be very, very curious and find out why something is not working or why something is working the way it is working another thing keep learning keep learning join communities 
join us in Golov University. If you want to join up, join us in Golov University, check out the link on the video description. When you enroll in Golov University, you have access to a Discord community or my, to a private Discord community of traders that are sharing ideas on a daily basis. They are sharing up, they are sharing updates on a daily basis. Golov University always have updated courses updated factors you need to be looking and looking out for so that is what i'm talking about you keep learning and, pa and part of keep learning is joining a community of like-minded traders that can share ideas about recent updates that are coming in the forex market then another point which is also one of the most important points, is give yourself room for growth all right give yourself room for growth because just like i said even if you've, or you've read 10 books when it comes to forex trading, watch all the videos on YouTube, something that is working today, there is no guarantee it's going to work tomorrow. So give that, just give that room in your brain and already program your brain to know that, okay, I'm giving myself room for growth. I'm giving myself room to absorb more knowledge that is coming in. I'm giving myself room to absorb more updates that are coming in in the Forex market. That is why I'm talking about you giving yourself a room for growth. Because if you don't give yourself room for growth, there, there will be no way for you to be able to move forward when it comes to Forex trading. So with that being said, we've come to the end of this particular video. If you've gotten some value from this video, please make sure you smash the like button on the video. And if you're watching my channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button on the video. Check out the links below to join my free Discord community. And if you want to enroll in Golov University to join my private students who are sharing ideas on, on a daily basis, who stay updated, who share mo most of these facts, they updated on the revolution, check out the link on Golov University. If you want to also use the recommended brokers, the same brokers that I use, if you want to use the same brokers that I use, also check the link on the video description. Check me out on Instagram. Check the videos that are going to be coming at the end of this particular video because those same videos are related to the same topic. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.